Hello Filitubers, Filit here, and welcome to my official guide on how to navigate VeloGames.com. VeloGames.com is mostly known for their fantasy cycling. They have four seasons of fantasy cycling. They have the Tour de France fantasy cycling, the Giro d'Italia, the Vuelta Espana, and the Spring Classics. The latest mentions to the Spring Classics is the one starting tomorrow with Milan San Remo. First of all, if you want to compete, which is totally free, you have to create an account. So let's quickly do that. My username will be failure. Oh, it'll be failure one. If I can type, be failure one. My full name is this. My email address is this. It's uh, challenge of the week at pcm.gmail.com. Then the password is something. And then you have to put in the captcha to be able to show that you're not a robot, which is not that difficult. And once you've done this, you will get an email saying you have to verify the, your account. And once you've done that, you can start picking your team. So any second now, I will get an email. I just got to see that was fast and reliable service from Velo Games. They got it. Yeah, I got it within seconds. And then look at that. Activated. Your account has been activated. You can now log in. So I will log in real quick. And once that is done, I can start picking my team. And in the Spring Classics, there are, I believe, around six, six, is there six? I believe there's six stages. We can quickly take that. So you go on the races, you can check. There are 11 races, a lot more than I thought. But the races are divided in two categories, Category 1 and Category 2. If we go on to the rules, you can see that, where, oh, that's not the rules, sorry about that. It's the scoring system. In the scoring system, you can see that Category 1 races... They give you the most amount of points, while Category 2 races give you less amount of points. So it's more important to target the race Category 1 points. But I'll quickly explain how does the point system work. So as you can see here, in the stage, top, or in the Category 1 stage, the top 20 is, re is uh, rewarded with points. So the first place in the stage will get 40 points, while second place will get 34 points, and so on. So on. In a category 2, first place only gets 25 points, and second place gets 20 and downwards. So you see, it's better to go for the category 1s than the category 2s, but the category 2 is also points, so you also have to go for those. Then that's something that Velo Games is doing that's very smart, they're rewarding the teammates, they have an assist points. So, the way you get that is, let's say the teammate, oh let's say Peter Sagan wins uh, Milan San Remo, which is coming up tomorrow, then the entire team, like the for Moreno Moso, L.A. Viviani, Daniel Ratto, and all these guys started Milan San Remo with Peter Sagan, all those guys will get six points because they helped Peter Sagan get the victory. How this works is the teammate has to show up to the race. He has to start the race. He doesn't necessarily have to finish the race, but starting up to the race, and if his, if his leader wins, the rest of the teammates gets six points. And you can see with ca race category two, it's only three points. Also, being in a breakaway also gives you points. So, how this works is, a breakaway is defined as a group of elite, or as, a, as maximum 20 people or 20 riders with a gap of minimum 5 seconds. Okay, and you can see it's divided up to, into four zones. Zone one is at halfway through the stage normally. So if you're if you've been in the breakaway and it's under twenty guys and it's got more than five seconds and they're halfway through the stage, they get six points. All those guys in the breakaway. Then the rest of the zones are landmarks. So let's say the last zone in Milan San Remo is the Poggio Hill, and if you are in that group that's got more than five seconds, the guy gets six points. Same thing counts with the race category 2, they just get less points. That's basically the entire point system. It's very simple and it's easy to get into. Then, the rules. So, the only really rule you have to take into account is that you get 100 points to create your team with. You're not forced to use all 100 points, but you that's how much money or how much Velo game currency you can actually use. Also, you get until tomorrow at 11 o'clock, I think that is. Where is it? It's, uh... It says something, it says somewhere on here, but it's uh, tomorrow, Sunday, at uh, the Milan San Remo, when, I think it's 10 o'clock, then you can no longer sign up, but yeah, 10 CET tomorrow, and you can no longer sign, like, you can no longer change unlimited, you have an unlimited amount of transfers until tomorrow at 10 CET time, from then onwards on, you'll only get 24 transfers for your entire team, so let's say, okay, you make a team today, let's go and make a team, create a team, so you create a team today, and let's say that, oh, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Fabian Cancellara, but then Fabian Cancellara tells us tonight at, like, midnight, oh, I'm not gonna write me on Sam Rem, I'm gonna pull out, well, you can still, you can still transfer him out freely, because it's before the race 
is on. It's before the season starts. But when 10 o'clock tomorrow, that's when you have to set your team finally. Because every single transfer you make from 10 o'clock and onwards tomorrow will count as a transfer. And you only have 24 transfers. So, picking your team is rather easy. You have to look at... Oh, well, I would recommend go for the cobble season first. The first... How many stages? How many uh, races? Like you have uh, Drasdorf Landeren and E3 Halberg and so on. All these, all these are cobblestone stages, and I recommend make a full cobblestone team and then change later on once you get into the hilly classics. So picking guys like Last Boom, Stefan Mark, uh, uh, Tom Bonan, uh, who else is going out there? Jürgen Rollins, guys like this in the beginning. And if you can't quite find them here, it's because the first. 200 guys you'll see, you can check, you can see it says 200 here. The first 200 guys you'll see are confirmed for the next race. So these 200 guys are confirmed to go to the next race that's coming up. And the next race coming up is Milan San Remo. Then if you go further down, it will say inactive. And there will be a lot more guys. Where is this at? It will be somewhere. It's probably further up. Not quite sure where it is. It's not as many guys, but it's somewhere. It says inactive races. I think you can just... There, you can minimize it, I think. Oh, you can't. Well... Shame, but it's way easier just to search for you guys. Say, I want, uh, I want Boom in my team. I think Boom is gonna do real good. You search for him, you press search, and there he is. And there you can see he's inactive for next race. So 651 guys are confirmed or not confirmed to go into the next race. But I want last Boom. And then you continue picking until you hit the hundred Velo Games currency cost. So now you continue picking. And you say, oh, now, now I believe that Kanchalara is gonna dominate like he does every season. You pick Kanchalara. And then you now use 24 and you continue using until you have 12. When you've done that, you can put in your name. I want to say my name is Failure. I want to put that in. Enter your team name. My team is going to be Team Failure. And I want my team nation to be. Uh, I'm Danish. So I'm going to let it be Team Denmark. And once that is done, you can now submit a form. And. Uh, See, it's gonna tell you. Uh, it's gonna tell me that I made a mistake. So, because I didn't pick twelve riders, so I'll real quickly just pick twelve riders. And it doesn't need to be very good. It just needs to be for uh, like showcasing purpose. So, uh, real quick, we pick twelve riders. And that's it. We give them a name. We give us a team name. We pick Afghanistan as a no. We don't pick Afghanistan as a team nation. Now we got a twelve riders. Now we can su submit our form, and we're good. So now you're looking up in the right hand corner, and you're like. This jersey is really ugly. I like Team Saxobank Tinkoff, or Team Tinkoff Saxobank as they're called now. I want to change this. So I go to Team Options, and you go, and look at this. Velo Games has pretty much every single jersey that's known to man that you can pick off. And so, I said before, I like Saxo Tinkoff. Well, I will pick him. Then you scroll down, I believe, and you press Submit, and now you have changed your jersey to Tinkoff Saxobank. What a nice lo looking jersey. Okay, so now you might be thinking, how do I play with friends? Well, that's also very easy. You visit your team, and you go down, and you see you have five league slots. So you can either create a league, or you can join a league. The, first of all, I'm going to show you how to create a league. So first, we're going to create a league. Uh, create a league. Uh, if you wish to start a league, enter your chosen league name. Uh, where is it at? It's in here, I think. How to join a mini league. Here he is. So you press that, how to create your mini league. Here you put in your name, you put in the email address you used, and you put in the league name. And bang, it's been started. So we'll just do tutorial. Tutorial real quick. It's not real right spelled. That's how it's spelled. My name is Failure. We got my email address once again. We have to put that in because that way they can contact you if something goes wrong. Now that league has been confirmed, and then you share this league code with your friends that you want to join your league. That's how easy it is, and they just put it in. So we're going to put that out there. We're going to control C, means we're copying the code, going to visit your team. You go down, and then you join a league. That, le that code you put in here, and bang, it's done. That's how easy it is. You have now joined the tutorial. Confirmed entry, and now you can play with friends. So now you can share the codes with your friend, and you can have a battle between your friends. Might even put some money in it, you know, have some bit of battle fun. I mean, I'm on my channel, I'm having a t-shirt contest. Whoever can do the best in my league, very exciting. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is making transfers. So this is how you make it. You go and make transfers, you delete whoever you want out, and you put in another guy. But... Every time you do that, once the season has begun, you lose a transfer. So use them with caution. You do not get them back. There are going to be loads of guys with crashes, with punctures, and there are going to be guys who doesn't just doesn't want to ride races. Keep them in case something happens. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was good for you. Please come watch my channel. It's at youtube.com slash Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.